his grandfather, Ralph. Former national champion, they called him Ironheart because he gave nothing on the racetrack. His father, seven-time Winston Cup champion, once dubbed Iron Head, and then the Intimidator. He and can, how about this kid? He can coast on now, my Checker flag, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is Texas Motor Speedway's second first-time Winston Cup winner. Second. I don't think Dale needs all anybody. Right, get all the gears. Seven laps off. left. Now it'll be six as they come to the start finish line. Time to settle the Pepsi 400 at Daytona. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is sixth in line and bends the leads on the restart. Once again, you can't pass on the inside to get to that line. All right, free game. Let's go. Ward Burton quickly down the inside to fly around the spot. See Jeff Gordon back on the racetrack. Bernard Jr. lying back, trying to get him to run. He has that run, but Tony Stewart pulls up in front of him. He's got, got Jeremy Lincoln. He's got time on the hips. Schrader pushed to the outside lane. better than it pulls, I think he'll ride right where he is. Remember the Daytona 500. This time, there he goes. Tony Stewart taking a look at the bottom, he's got no help. And he lost his spot. White flag is out. Last lap at Talladega. Dale Earnhardt Jr. pushed by the car his father used to drive, the 29 of Kevin Harvick, and the veteran Dale Jarrett behind him. Harvick did all his work earlier on the bottom, Jr. Oh, oh trouble. trouble. Jeff Gordon. And there's the crowd. Big Biffle. Casey Kane. Several cars involved. But the cars is racing. No, it's still, still green. It's still green. Okay. They're still racing at Talladega. Last lap. They will come to the checkers this time by. So there will not be a green white checker. The white flag is in the air. Dale Earnhardt Jr. looking for his fifth win at Talladega. Works his way back to the front. And Jr. where his father won ten times. Sadler, who had that terrible tumble here a year ago, on his route at the finish. Well, if they left this race 10 minutes early, they missed it. And at least 
rescue workers. I hope these guys are paying attention. We have rescue workers on the backstretch attending to the red cars there. Yep, everybody shut her down pretty slow. Biffle is back there. Unofficially, Earnhardt Jr., Harvick, Jarrett, Brendan Graham, Kurt Busch. No fits, Halladega win. His dad won here 10 times. No other driver had more than four wins here until today. Now Dale Earnhardt Jr. has five. And continues his quest in the chase for the next ball cup. We're here today to talk at last uh, about my contract at DEI. First off, let me say uh, how much I appreciate the media understanding uh, and being patient throughout the uh, negotiations to keep this as private as we wanted to keep it. Uh, for those of you who know me, you know I hate uh, keeping things under wraps and I'm usually pretty honest, but it's something that was absolutely necessary as the negotiations progressed. Uh, I've told you all season long that when we have something to announce that we would announce it. So we're calling this press conference here today to announce that after a year of intense negotiations and intense effort on behalf of Dell and Hart Incorporated and JR Motorsports that we decide that it's time for us to move on and seek other opportunities to drive for a new team in 2008. Because these fans are going to burn this place down <laughs> when we get to that point. It was just going to be a big old waste of money. But uh, Junior has, uh, I mean, this has been a great day for these guys. Oh, it has. They have dominated. This will be the 93rd lap he has led as we get two to go in the Quick and Loans 400. You're on board with Dale Earnhardt Jr. Look at how that steering wheel, how steady that is. Yeah. sees it right now. There you go, buddy. White flag. Two more miles to victory for Dale Earnhardt Jr. as the crowd stands and cheers here in Michigan. Oh, my God. I, I, I wish people at home could be here to see these people in the grandstands and to hear them. We're up here in the TV, TV booth, and you can hear these people. Jr. down the back straightaway and into turn three for the final time. This year count more than ever you win it you might be in the chase it might be the win you need and it's a chance to get one right here Kelly Earnhardt Miller Dale Jr. sister looking on and here we go green flag two laps Dale Earnhardt Jr. gets to that restart box and he is gone yeah that car is got I mean it takes off now he definitely doesn't want to get too far out we know that's not good and he is making a pretty good gap here here Better comes watch. the two. Brad Keselowski on the outside. Got a little bit of help from behind. Gaining on the leader. Junior comes up to cover. Jeff Gordon now leading the inside row. Unless Keselowski or Bush or Denny Hamlin in the 11 drops down. It's Hamlin. What a move by Hamlin. Woo now if we get back to the white flag, we have a race. Look at Stenhouse in that 17 in the middle, back and forth. Boy, he just shoved forth. Kyle Busch right out of the way. Ricky Stenhouse in the 17 to third place. White flag with Stenhouse up in position to challenge in that blue four. You know what, Larry? I believe that tape's going to stay on there, and that baby's going to come home a winner. Kenny Hamlin has not lost a race this week. He's number 11. Keslowski, the 2012 champ, battling back to the top. And Dale Earnhardt Jr., the Pied Piper of Daytona trying to hold them all at bay. And Kyle Busch is trying to make a third line at the top of the racetrack. Boy, here they come. 
now. This is where it gets interesting. We've seen a lot of passes off turn four to the start finish line, but that 88 is pulling away. Less than a mile to go. Oh, we got a wreck. Third generation star, Dale Earnhardt Jr. brings him to the flag. Checkered flag waving. It's over. It's Earnhardt. Oh, yeah. Ha, ha. Good job, Jude Bug. Woo. Popular Driver Award is Dale Earnhardt Jr. This year uh, was a difficult year for us and our team, and uh, been going through a lot of rehab, a lot of recovery, and uh, you think you know uh, just how incredible the NASCAR fans are and how supportive they are. You see them support the drivers through victories and through defeat, but when you go through recovery or injury or maybe a loss of a loved one or something like that, you really get to the core of what's great about our fan base. So I want to thank the fans for all the support, all the uh, well wishes, and it really motivated me to get healthy, and it also motiva motivated me to come back. So looking forward to next year. Thanks a lot. Merry Christmas to everybody. Have a good night. Thank you. We're here today to confirm uh, the news you received this morning that I've decided to make this season my last as a NASCAR Cup driver. Decision, it's really simple. I just wanted the opportunity to go out on my own terms. I wanted to honor my commitment to Rick, to 
to my sponsors, to my team, to the fans. Rehab, I was given something else that I wasn't accustomed to, and that was time. Time to understand what's important to me. Time to realize the incredible support system I have in my wife, my team, and my doctors. And time to work like hell to wrestle back some semblance of say-so in this whole matter. And so that became my motivation. I wrote a crew to the pit crew to all the people in the 4888 shop. I'm a better driver and a better person from my time with you guys. You've helped me mature and grow well beyond the racetrack. We love to work together and I look forward to every single trip we have left on the schedule this season. sacrifice. Y'all know the stories and they're all true. She dropped out of one school to enroll in military school where I was because she was worried about me. She came to work for me even though it meant she'd have to take a massive pay cut, but she knew that I needed her.